My name is uh, Dr. Tony Curto, and I am the Associate Professor of Missions and Evangelism and Apologetics at Greenville Presbyterian Theological Seminary. I've been asked to speak a word concerning the upcoming the Theology Conference that we are presenting here at Greenville uh, in March of this year on the nature and sufficiency of Scripture. I'm often asked the question, why would we have such a conference on, on that particular subject? I remember back when I first became a Christian at the beginning of the 1970s that one of the first theological issues I was introduced to was the battle for the Bible whether or not we as Christians believe that the Bible is the Word of God and what we consider it to be to us as Christians. I'm reminded of the fact that as believers we believe that the Bible is our only rule of faith and practice, that as we come to Scripture it teaches us all that we are to believe concerning God and what duty God requires of us. Now through the years, though some issues have seemed to diminish, other issues have arisen as to what is the exact nature of the Bible. How is the Bible different than, say, the Koran? Or why do we not, as Christians, as Protestant Christians, use the Apocrypha the way the Roman Catholics do? How do we know that the books of the Bible that we have are actually all the books that we should have in our Bibles, or that the books that we have in our Bibles shouldn't be excluded from our Bibles. All these are pertinent questions that still are under discussion in the broad evangelical church, but more particularly in our Reformed church, in our tradition, in our background. So at this particular conference, I've been asked to speak on the subject of the self-attestation of the scriptures or the self-authenticating nature of the scripture as it comes to us as the Word of God. And by and large, what that basically means is when somebody comes to me and asks me the question, how do you know that the Bible that you have is really the Word of God? And how do you convince others that the Bible that we believe is the Word of God really is the Word of God? Do all men everywhere have a knowledge of the scriptures in this way? What kind of arguments would we use to convince them that the scriptures are the true word of God and are full of authority? Basically, my talk will move along the lines of, we believe the Bible is the word of God because it is inspired. We believe that the Bible is inspired because it is self-authenticating. I believe the Bible is self-authenticating or authenticates itself by its light and heat. But do we stop there? Is that all we have to say? No, I also believe that the Bible asserts or it testifies to its own divine nature. And our confession of faith, especially in Article 5 of the first chapter, gives us some of the ways that the Bible evidences itself to be the Word of God. And what relationship then does our belief that the Bible is self-authenticating and that the Bible asserts itself to be the divine word of God. What is the relationship then of the witness of the Spirit who testifies, who witnesses, who confirms to us that the scriptures are the word of God by and with the word? And so that's the particular topic that I will be dealing with. And it's an important topic. I believe it's important for the way we do our preaching. I believe it's important for the way we do our evangelism. I believe it's important for the way we do our apologetics. And so I would invite you, if you can, to come and join us in our spring conference. If not, to know that these lectures, these talks, will be made available to anyone that would be interested in looking more closely and more deeply into the nature and the sufficiency of Scripture. Thank you very much.